Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a brand new version of the Google Chrome web browser for desktop version 113, which started rolling out on the 2nd of May. That was once again late yesterday in my region. And this is now the current stable release. Now, um, when it comes to front-facing features uh, in Google Chrome version 113, there's not too much going on. Um, I'm not noticing any, after updating, I'm not noticing any little UI tweaks that I was expecting. Um, as many of you may know, uh, Google are testing the Chrome Refresh 2023 um, in the preview versions of the browser as I have been posting. And I'm not noticing any of those changes yet in Google Chrome version 113. So I was expecting to see some little, maybe some icon changes to the uh, toolbar or the um, navigation uh, pane and so on, but not yet. Um, but I'm sure we will be getting those in up and coming releases. Now, over and above um, one or two um, new improvements that have rolled out, we obviously get the all important security fixes that have been made available, and we get 15 in total. So, um, because your browser is your first line of defense, to double check if you have this latest update, head to your menu help about Google Chrome. And uh, um, the updates um, will take place automatically in the background, especially if you are opening and closing and using the browser on a regular basis. And the latest version in bold is 113.0.5672.64. Now that's point release, depending on which um, operating system platform you are using, could be 63 or 64. So if you have 0 0.63, 0 0.64, and um, with version 113, your browser will be up to date. Now, this does include a, a number of fixes and includes 15 security fixes in total, which um, uh, is an important security update. Now, although there aren't any high severity vulnerabilities, and this is um, the first time in quite a while I haven't actually seen any high risk vulnerabilities, which is actually good news when it comes to um, the browser being patched against high risk vulnerabilities. Um, there are a couple of medium vulnerabilities and um, low. So um, although um, there are no high risk vulnerabilities, as always, 15 security fixes have rolled out. So just make sure your browser is up to date, even if you are not interested in any new features or any other improvements to the browser. Now, just to go through um, some of the new um, improvements that have rolled out with Google Chrome version 113. And I would say that the so-called key highlight for version 113 is support for web GPU. Now, just a quick history and brief background on web GPU in case you're unaware. Um, this feature has been um, basically in development by Google over the last couple of years, which in a nutshell um, allows web pages to display advanced 3D graphics. And um, at the end of the day, what it does is, is it speeds up on-device machine learning as well in the same process. Now, um, Google explains uh, in a recent blog post exactly what this feature is all about. They say, and I'm quoting, WebGU, WebGPU sorry, is a new API for the web, which exposes modern hardware capabilities and allows rendering and computation operations on a GPU. So that's your graphics processing unit. Similar to Direct3D12, Metal and Falcon. Unlike the WebGL family of APRs, WebGPU offers access to more advanced GPU features and provides first-class support for general computations on the GPU. So obviously, um, this is something that will be rolling out over time um, as the technology so-called, um, um, you know, um, kind of gets to that point. And obviously, you need a GPU, which obviously carries the support for this web GPU. So you would need a more modern day GPU as an example. So web GPU, um, I would consider to be the uh, key highlight and improvement rolling out for version 113. Now, as I did mention in the um, early stable release video um, a week ago when Google was testing the um, early stable release before rolling it out now to the general public of version 113, some features are behind flags. So um, these aren't default features. So if you are interested in some experimental features that you can try out in version 113, we can just head up to the Omnibox, enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And there are two flags, if you are interested, that you can enable. Uh, the first is reading mode. The description reads, enables the reading mode feature, which generates a reader-friendly view of web pages. Open the site panel and select reading mode to try this feature. 
change that from a default to enabled. And the next is user notes side panel. And I actually spoke about this um, in the early stable video. Um, and now is an experimental flag. Um, enables the user notes feature in the side panel. Only works if Power Bookmark backend is also enabled. So you need to make sure that you have the Power Bookmark flag enabled um, at first. And if you don't know how to do that, just do a search on the channel for Power Bookmarks. You change both those to enabled, and then obviously you restart uh, the browser to apply those flags. Now I'm just going to head over to Wikipedia and just to head to our site panel and there you can see the reader mode. So it's in the drop down list reading mode and just gives you access to uh, that um, reader mode now in the site panel. And we have a couple of options available. You have different fonts. Um, you can decrease the font. You can uh, increase the font size. You can change the background of that default light yellow you get the idea blue and i have to actually cover this uh, when it was still in preview um you can change the actual layout here so you can have standard loose um very loose so you get the idea and you can also change the letter spacing so standard wide and very wide so that's just a quick overview as to what the reader mode uh, is about uh, in the side panel just giving you access to that if you are maybe doing some research on an article. Now the next would be the notes feature and this is the notes feature and just to demonstrate um, I'm just going to highlight a bit of texture and if we right click on that you'll see now add a note and you can now add a note um, in the actual site panel if you are um, have enabled that flag and I'm just going to write in there test and I apologize for the light theme um, it doesn't seem to be available um, on my device in a darker theme. So I have written test in there and you can add that as a note. So another handy feature if you are, as an example, doing research um, on a subject or a topic and you just want to add notes for that relevant um, article that you are reading, maybe handy if you are doing research as mentioned. So those are the two experimental features which you can enable um, using those two flags. Now, um, Another a feature that's also rolling out but seems to be on a controlled rollout because um, um, it is common when new versions of browsers do roll out that some of the so-called new features do roll out over time. They don't roll out to all regions at the same time and that is quite common. So something else we are expecting, if we head to the menu settings and we head to uh, the um, privacy and security page, and we head over to site settings and if we scroll down and we get go to cookies and site data um apparently this page is going to display a new option um, under block third party cookies in incognito and i actually mentioned this very briefly in the early stable video i did post a couple of days ago so um apparently there's going to be a new setting which i haven't received yet um, currently on a controlled rollout, um, the setting will be allow related sites to see your activity in the group, which will be an option that you can toggle um, between on and off um, on this page. So that's just a, a basically another um, setting for block third party cookies. And um, just take note though, if you do see this, that new setting allow related sites to see your activity in the group, um, it won't be um, available in in, in incognito mode automatically it'll be turned off automatically in incognito mode so just take note of that and over and above that guys um there's just some other developer um kind of be behind the scenes and under the hood features that have rolled out um uh, for developers that won't really be of general interest interest to your average home user and if we just head over to the chrome platform status um, yeah, we can see a Chrome version 114 is rolling out as the stable version in three weeks time, which will start rolling out as the early stable on the 24th of May, which will be later this month. And then a week after that, we can expect Chrome version 114 to roll out um, to the general public as the official stable release. So that's more or less what's new in this latest release, Google Chrome version 113 for desktop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.